like, comment, subscribe, man. And hit that post notification bell so you get notified when I drop all these latest videos. Man. Let's get to it. Man, I saw something. And it's disturbing to me. We need to talk about this shit. Because this is a problem. I just saw some shit. I hope that's not true. Clarissa Shields accepting a fight from Keith Thurman. My question is why? Clarissa Shields, why do you want to fight a grown-ass male boxer? Professional male boxer. Why? You really think you're that tough, huh? See, I don't promote beating on women and hitting on them and all that shit. That shit ain't cool. But you got a lot of women out there right now that like putting their hands on niggas. I know a couple of niggas personally get beat up by their girl. Now, these niggas might could physically hurt them, but they just accept it, which is cool. That's their business. But Clarissa Shields, you really think you can whip this man? You really think you can whip this man? I know you're a tough bro, a little strong in the face, but you're a little tough bro. You be putting hands on motherfuckers. I think you're from Detroit or something like that, Michigan, whatever. But I need to talk to Keith Thurman. Keith, brother. If you see this video, man, I'm talking for all the real niggas. We need you. We need you to do what you do best. We know you in the hurt business. You in the business of putting pain on motherfuckers. This is a situation. We need you to put pain on this wild ass Africa. Because she really thinks she can whoop you. Now, I know you don't want to do it. You can get the money to whoever you want to give it to, whatever charity, organization, whatever, bro. But we need you to maul this motherfucking bro. Yeah, I said it. We need you to whoop her ass. Beat her ass like she owe you money. Beat her ass like she stole something from your mama. Because if you fuck around playing games with this bro. I mean, she ain't playing with you. You fuck around and let this bro knock you out on accident, man. We not gonna hear the end of it. Fuck how you feel. We not gonna hear the end of it. When I say we, I'm talking about black man. You already got these bros out here crazy as hell trying to fight niggas. If this bro knock your ass out, what you think gonna happen? We finna have a whole lot of goddamn problems, bro. If you knock this motherfucker out, beat her up, whatever you got to do, if you do what you supposed to do, these women out here will get the goddamn picture. They not men. They think they can compete with men. They really do. That's why you hear them running around all these WNBA players. These bros, 6'6 six, six and 6'7, six, can't dunk or none of that shit. But you want to get paid equal money like a man. And if you don't get the hell out of here, and why these niggas don't tell them that, I don't know. Maybe I need to lower the goddamn rims so y'all can dunk and make it a little more exciting. How about that? Maybe I'll watch some of that shit. But the only thing y'all got going for y'all is some of them bros look all right. Most of them butch, but some of them starting to look all right. But, yeah, I don't know how I got to this basketball shit, but that's always been a problem anyway. Yeah, Lord of the Rams are playing bikinis. Uh, how that sound? Yeah, but back to Clarissa Shields. I hope he whoop your ass for being disrespectful. And I hope he whoop your ass. Maybe you will get the picture. Stay in your goddamn lane. Like LeVar Ball said. All you women need to stay in your lane. We don't even advocate for the for the transmissions. 
to be in y'all sports fighting y'all. We don't want to see them beating y'all ass up. But you want a full-grown nigga that's in his prime. I don't give a damn if he ain't got no belts. He's a strong-ass professional boxer. And you really think you can whip this man? Man, if you don't beat this bitch up, bro, if you don't beat, bro, I swear to God, if you don't beat this bitch up, I'm going to personally make some videos about you every day. I swear I am. This can't be allowed to happen. It can't. Fuck all that. And you got some bras out there that hit hard and can knock some niggas out. And she's one of them kind of bras. She's one of them bras that hit hard and, and will. She probably didn't knock a few niggas out. That's why she feel the way she feel. I don't know if she ever knocked out no professional male boxers, but she probably didn't knock out some street niggas. Yeah. But Keith Thurman, if you don't put the work of God on this bitch, we all finna be mad at you, bro. Shit happens on accidents, Keith Thurman, so I hope you, you think about that. Because if she knock your ass out, oh, boy, you ain't gonna hear the end of it. From your family, your friends, and especially the public. And I'm gonna be one of them niggas involved in the campaign of roasting your ass. Because I told you we need you, man. We need you. Black men unite. We need you. And this go, boy, I swear, this shit nip some of this shit in the bud. You knock her ass across her jaw, sit her on her pockets. Make her ass think about um, baking some cakes and having some babies. This should be over with. But if you don't, man, it's over for you. You only, they don't, they don't. If you lose to this, bro, they need to cancel your professional fighting career forever. You can't fight professionally. You just, you can't fight in UFC or none of that. You just go street fighting. And you just be a regular nigga. Man, you better not lose all that goddamn training. This motherfucking strong face, motherfucking brawl trying to test you and play with you, man. Beat her ass up. Yeah. I said it and I meant it. This shit got to come to an end. And Clarissa Shields, after he beat your ass, I hope you kick back and relax. And yeah, maybe you should apologize to the nigga after that. Cause you doing too motherfucking much. Too much. Well, I hope Keith Thurman put your ass up in the mystery mix and blend your ass up good. No lie.